Good morning children. I am Pratibha, your teacher of science and today we are going to start a new chapter and that is chapter 1 of your book Chemical Reactions and Equations. So after this video lecture you will be able to define a chemical reaction, explain the symbolic representation of a chemical reaction, identify the components of a chemical reaction, explain how to write a chemical reaction and balance a chemical reaction. So let us see what a chemical reaction is through an experiment. We begin with some zinc granules in conical flask. These granules are blue grain color. Then we put a two hole rubber cork in this flask. Then we fed a thermometer on one hole of the cork and a thistle funnel into the other cork. Next, pour some 5 ml of dilute sulfuric acid to the conical flask through the thistle funnel. We will see the color of the zinc granules will change from blue gray to white. Some gas bubbles are also released from the solution. This is because zinc reacts with sulfuric acid to form zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas. Zinc sulfate is white in color. The thermometer also shows an increase in the temperature of the solution. Therefore, as you have seen in this experiment, the color of the zinc sulfate is changed during the reaction. That is, there was a change in the physical properties. The reactants reaction also resulted in the evolution of gas. That is, the state of the reactants is also changed. Zinc reacted with sulfuric acid to form zinc sulfate, that is a salt. Thus, the composition of the reactants is also changed. Hence, we can say that a chemical reaction involves a change in the physical and chemical properties, the composition and the physical state of the substance. So, we can write the chemical reaction in the form of a chemical equation as shown in the picture in which we write the reactants on the left hand side and products on the right hand side. So, a chemical equation is a symbolic representation of the reactants and products using their chemical formulae. For example, as we have seen, zinc reacts with dilute sulfuric acid to form zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas. So, symbolically, solid zinc reacts with dilute sulfuric acid to form aqueous solution of zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas. So this is a chemical equation. In a chemical equation it involves reactants which are always written on the left hand side. Like in this reaction zinc and dilute sulfuric acid are reactants and the products which are always written on the right hand side as in this reaction zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas are products which are formed after the reaction they are called products and an arrow head which points towards the products and it also tells the direction of the chemical reaction as in this reaction it is showing that zinc reacts with dilute sulfuric acid to form zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas so the arrowhead is showing the direction. Let us take an, another example. Coal in which carbon atoms are present reacts with oxygen to give carbon dioxide gas. So symbolically represented as solid carbon reacts with gaseous form of oxygen to form gas carbon dioxide. So carbon and oxygen are reactants and carbon dioxide is product. In this reaction. So in a chemical equation we always represent solid as S, liquid L, gas G, aqueous solution AQ, gas produced by upward arrow, precipitate formed by downward arrow, and the direction of the reaction by an arrowhead pointing towards the product. Thank you.